Um, I'm the executive director of Ontario University Athletics. Been here for six years now. Uh, we're the governing body of university sport in the province. I, I think the what what Mohawk brought me in, it was was the the discipline, discipline to make sure to get the, get the job done, um, being able to multitask, um, and those are all things that I think when you come out of high school you're not uh, really ready for. Um, college brought that to me, and let me tell you, when in a job like this, you you need to have that. A great couple of years of my life for sure. Um, the program, particularly what I wanted to do was have that co-op experience at the time and uh, and it was very rewarding. Had actually two interesting spectrums of it. I had one great co-op and one that wasn't so great but it really gave me a good sense of what, what it was going to be like uh, when I started my career. And for myself, it was really my first uh, job outside of, uh, outside of the farm community that I worked in and I was a, I was a farm boy so I always worked for my dad. So. It was a good experience and uh, got me ready for uh, my career. Just he's a you know a leader by example first first and foremost. He's the, he's the first person to jump in and and do what needs to be done in order to make sure the event or the um, or whatever it takes is done and it's done at a first class uh, type of thing. And from that point on, he's definitely the type of manager or supervisor that you want as an employee. You know, he allows you to to, to learn and to struggle on your own, and then he's always there to to make sure that you're there for for some support with, with, if, if you need it. Obviously my knowledge in terms of his overall involvement with the OUA is limited to the last couple of years, but um, I've really seen it grow in terms of being from a former athlete myself, in terms of how it's developed and grown as a league um, through his uh, initiatives and things like that. We're one of the only conferences that has a nationally televised um, football schedule. He's really increased that over the last couple of years that I've been and known him and things like that. As also the um, in terms of the development of the league, in terms of sponsorships and things like that. I think he's really used the university athletics and amateur sports really to uh, encourage more people to get involved and things like that. And I think that's one of the, you know, his lasting legacies. I think, you know, some of Ward's characteristics that, you know, that I can see, um, you know, obviously his, his willingness to just step in and, and do what takes, you know, do what's needed to be done. I think that really uh, it speaks high volumes of that. You know, you have a lot of managers who aren't, you know, who are just delegating this or that. And Ward's the type of man, or the type of, you know, supervisor where, you know, he'll, he'll he can delegate if need be, but he's also the type of person who will step in and say this needs to be done, and he'll be the first one to grab that and t take hold of that. And I think that's, I think one characteristic that a lot of college students, in my experiences, have definitely learned from having gone to school. Very committed and very dedicated to the league. Um, he's the type of person who, when he does something, he wants it done to the best of his ability and, and you know, he's very um, attention to detail to make sure that everything from a league standpoint is done and looks good and that we could do everything we can to help the student athletes that are involved in our leagues. We are involved um, at championships, so usually there's always someone from the OUA attending a championship game you know, to congratulate them and we always want to make sure that they're getting everything they deserve as a student athlete and rewarded for their successes and he always makes sure that that happens. Outside the OUA, he's, he's very um, passionate about music and particularly Canadian music, um, which I'm not very familiar with, but uh, anytime he has a chance to go to a unique concert or, or see his favorite band or incorporate his likes of music into his work, he always does. So. That's unique in, in the sense, and it's out, something outside of obviously the OUA that he is really passionate about as well. I find that um, particularly my involvement with um, Athletes for Africa, um, it's it, we are so lucky to be in this in, in this community um, in North America where we don't have the, the challenges that happen over there. So to be able to make a difference and be able to uh, be part of that. Um, it's, it's very, very self-rewarding. Leave all your options open. It's, uh, everything has a, has a purpose and a meaning and, and you will, in your career path may, may take many turns. Um, be able to uh, learn from every experience, both good and bad, um, because it'll all pay off in the, in, uh, in the end. Uh, so, so take every opportunity to learn from. Nothing is, uh, is a waste of time. Um, and make the most of it.